I think some people will find helpful. I try to take a step back in a lot of the budget descriptions this year so people can sort of have a look. Um, this is so early in the year compared to when we normally do it. I don't have some things updated like uh, a projection of water usage for next year. I don't have yet. I'll need that in the next month. The select is going to set rates. Um, on page 15 is the budget. I think the top section of each of these is, is really the details you need. The um, operational costs for the Water Enterprise Fund are up just under 4% projected to be for next year. Uh, debt and capital combined are, are about flat, but uh, capital is up quite a bit and debt's down a little bit. Yes. So that the local water costs are just under 4%. And more or less, we target 35 to 4 locally if we can. It's not always easy because sometimes capital um, becomes sort of lumpy. The MWRA expenses, right now it's a guess, it's an estimate of it was a small decrease, and that's because our current year's budget actually was a little too high. I think it was sixty or $70,000 too high. Um, the selectmen will meet. So, sorry, um, you took, so you're just bumping that up? Sort of so actual, it's, it's, it's off the actual, yeah. correct. The uh, selectmen next meeting will get a, an overview of water, sewer, storm water rates, and then um, hopefully in early March before town meeting vote actual rates. Um, right now I've just projected 425,000, a little less of, of usage, so that again total net costs are just under the 4%. Um, the changes of note, um, there is an additional DPW clerk that we mentioned in the general fund was a half of an FTE and a quarter would go into the water fund and a quarter would go into the sewer fund. So that's a full new person split up, if you will, four ways. There's also a need, short term at least, for in meeting next year for additional long term seasonal workers. Um, you can see near the bottom of the page, it's an increase in the budget from 10,000 to 24,000. That gets us two more. And they, they're working a little bit of a longer season. I'm sorry, Bob, I'm not saying which, which um, If you look under water, and if yeah. you look under a line near the bottom called temp, uh, the current year's budget is 10,000. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yep. thank you. Next year's 34,000. Um, I don't really think there's anything terribly interesting. This has the health insurance guess of 8%. Uh, the actual retirement assessment. Um, all of our budgets, including the general fund, if, if you recall, the um, Medicare numbers were too low this year. It doesn't matter where this is a bottom line budget, but we have bumped them up appropriately for next year. Um, operating costs are slightly lower. Um, that's for one thing. One th if you notice the uh, line that has a zero, that has a $7,500 this year with Wakefield. Um, that actually was discontinued a couple of years ago and no one bothered to tell me, so we don't need to budget for something we're not doing. It may come back though, just, just to be clear. Um, at the bottom, the general fund support goes up by the operating budget percent, which is 2.5%, so that explains water. Um, probably the more important thing about water is future planning. There is a uh, need to replace the Auburn tank. If you go up and see it, it looks pretty rusty. It's not going to fall over, but it definitely needs painting. We had decided a year and a half ago, instead of painting it, we would uh, put up a new tank that you didn't need to paint ever again, because when you paint it, all the telecom equipment has to come off stage temporarily and then be put back up again. So the, ta the replacement tank that will be purchased um, that is being spec'd out right now will be more expensive, but it will last much, much longer and not need paint every 15, 10, 15 years. There's also going to be a town-wide need to replace uh, water meters, and that's split by the water sewer fund. Um, it was mentioned at Fall Town meeting as part of the general fund, but since the enterprise fund capital plans weren't part of that meeting and didn't get amended. I should point out the downtown infrastructure yet again. Um, we're doing placeholders in the three enterprise funds and the general fund of 100,000 to figure out what we need to do and then a million each is a placeholder as debt. 
Um, I think a million is certainly going to be too high for storm water, and we'll see what water and sewer. But this is looking at the newly enlarged 40R district. Um, as you know, we have a lot of projects going on in that area, and we want to make sure we have the proper infrastructure underground. Um, I don't really think there's anything else that's terribly interesting. You can see that the MWRA buy-in still does run out several more years, but it is slowly but surely declining. And Bob, you've got the building project mm -hmm. slated for, uh, at this point, placeholder starting in 22? <clears throat> you know, I left, in the general fund, I took it out of the capital plan numerically, but I decided to leave it in the enterprise funds for now. It's just, it's art, not science anyways, but yeah. Yeah, it's, so it's a placeholder in there. And Sharon has done some work, uh, which we can share sometime to determine why, what percent water, sewer, storm water in the general fund should pay of a project. Right, so even if we made that debt exclusion, this kind of money would still be in this? That's an open question. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, once upon a time, I would have said, um, you know, debt exclusion's better because you could take it off in your taxes. Maybe not anymore, so I don't know. Um, all this debt in the waters and sewer funds, by the way, or stormwater, if it had any, could be put on the tax rate at any time, even old debt. Uh, Winchester did that for water. Um, well, it's probably almost 10 years ago now. For sewer, we have a lot less local control. That's really just paying the MWRA. As you can see on page, excuse me, 18. The MWA expenses is almost five million, is you know a large percent of the entire seven million dollar budget. Um, again, there's a salary bump because of that uh, quarter of our FTE clerical position. On page 19, the same story for retirement and health insurance, you know, bits of a bump. I didn't mention, but I should remind you that the OPEB contributions for all the enterprise funds are, is it 20 or 30 years? I just forget. It's 20. Yeah, I think it's 20 also. Like the light department, they're funding it faster. They're funding it fully. Um, again, local expenses are also down. The um, general fund support is up to 2.5%. And in, in sewer on page 20, there's far less capital slash debt planning. Again, it's mostly driven by just paying the MWRA. But they again have the downtown improvements placeholder. And just yep. going back to the OPEB, yeah. um, you say that they're funding it um, on a 20 year um, time frame. The town is not, the right. funds are pretty much commingled though, right? Actual, the actuarial, actuarial they, they, there's, there's a difference. Separately, yeah. But, okay. yeah. But it still goes into the same. Well, it's right. not a trust yet, or it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Okay. I think last year at an annual town meeting, it became a real trust. I thought there was still some questions. On I don't. It. Is there any questions left about that? I think the only thing that we need to do is decide if we want to invest it. How to? Yeah. How to set up a board of directors? Yeah. All that, and then we can actually invest it. Okay. Um, the only project on the horizon is the Sturgis almost $2 million um, sewer station repair and replace, and that's not next year, but a year after it will be funded with design money. Um, last but not least, stormwater, <coughs> excuse me, on 21. Um, There's a large project, which is on page 22, 250000 to uh, fix some water issues down at Sturgis Park. Rather than borrow for that, we decided that since the reserves are so high, um, we just pay for it with an increased reserve. So the reserve use is going up 150,000 next year, and that's why it's because of that large project. Otherwise, there's really nothing at all interesting in this fund compared to last year. There are some projects on the horizon. Um, there's still three large river projects, which may or may not ever get done. Um, but if the downtown improvements is a significant number, and then there's two other projects that are hard to read, but it's Main Street drainage is a million, and then the, the, the DPW building, if that happens uh, at that size, any or all of those could cause the $40 residential fee to increase, or us to decide to do it inside the levy. Uh, you know, can again be done anyway. 
So that's uh, that's it in a nutshell. Water and sewer, um, somewhere in the four percent area, water uh, storm water should be unchanged. But then we have to. That's budget. Then we have to get usage to see if the price has to go up because there's been too much conservation, as they say. Uh, these river projects that you have mentioned here, mm -hmm. um, what are they? And uh, you said if they ever happen, right? Is that um, optional, not a necessity, or? It's absolutely optional. Um, when the stormwater enterprise fund was created, they were added, I think, right away, maybe in the second year, as nice to haves. Um, they would be cleaning up two rivers. One of them is two phases, so there's three pieces. Each is guessed as two million, so six million total. Uh, one of the issues we had early on, aside from whether to do the work, is that it made little sense for us to clean a portion of the river if our neighbors weren't also participating in it. As of a year ago, they had no interest. So it seemed like it was a regional thing. It seems like the state should be involved some way. You know, we've got it as a planning tool. Um, I'm not sure what would take it, you know, to become instead of a planning tool, a real thing. I guess it would take some community interest. Now, is this that area back behind are you? Or am I getting confused with one another? Sort of yeah, that. that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. And then the other is the other side of town by the high school, actually. Yeah, Aberjona is it. Mm -hmm. And I sh I'm sure there could be other river cleanup projects, but those were designated as the two largest ones, and so they should be sort of memorialized in a capital plan. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I had sent you uh, folks a note a few days ago that the budgets I just described had two changes. Each had a small capital item pushed out one year, and then the use of reserves was uh, lowered a bit. And that's because, at the request of the department, they didn't need their equipment replaced as fast. Um, the other thing we didn't go over really in any detail, if, if you want to, is capital or debt in the general fund. I think we sort of discussed other shared costs, but I went over them quickly. I don't know. If this, you know I, think, I think the important thing is, again, I'll just say these out loud. Um, these are larger projects that are scheduled as debt because they're too large to be paid in a year, but they're not technically part of the capital plan um, because we don't have the funding. Uh, basic and enhanced building security totaling four million. Um, two turf projects totaling about four million at the high school, and, and a track project of about a million. Field house a million plus. Uh, birch meadow lighting a million plus. Birch meadow complex and the rec committee is still working on that, estimated as a million. Uh, Killam unknown community center unknown, and then DPW garage unknown. But it's just important that everyone remembers that these things are not yet funded or planned for. And I know in the past we've had the same discussion with other things, but the community didn't hear it as much, so I think just saying it at every opportunity is worth doing. And I also wanted to mention <clears throat> um, in the capital plan that was part of the budget that was sent to you, all the items are correct. There was an inaccurate summation in public services where something was double counted. So the number that you've seen all along is correct, just that display on that page for capital was incorrect. So the number in your motion is correct and all the items you've seen and have described are correct. So made me think of something as we were talking about the capital plan. In the area of building security, do we see it virtually all capital kind of monies, not all kind of monies? Both. This is just Both. capital, right? So, you know, as an example, you might need to hire a staff to do something. Yeah. But this is just the capital portion. Bob, remind me what the Birch Meadow Complex is. There was an old Birch Meadow Master Plan that was picked up again, although I don't think much has been done, quite frankly. Um, and the Rec Committee was asked to relook at it. It was split into two parts three three years ago or so. One was lighting and one was other. 
Um, I'm going to do this from memory, so I'm sure it's not exactly right, but it was a large project in which most of the money was to uh, rearrange the three fields by 15 degrees. And that, let's say that was $3 million. I don't remember exactly. Um, three or four years ago, the rec committee decided that was not worth whatever it was going to cost, so they would scrap that. Um, and they would do the lighting and then the whatever else they wish to do as two separate phases. Um, we actually went out to bid on the lighting and it was just, the prices were way higher than we were expecting so we canceled the project. We do have you know, good numbers now, we know what it would cost if we wanted to proceed. Um, but in this financial environment, you know, respectfully lighting the light the fields didn't seem like a high priority. And I know there's a lot of people that don't agree with that, but that's that's at least my opinion. That, so that any other improvements to the field are unknown. It's really up to the rec committee to come forward with a suggestion. They've talked about having some sort of a gazebo or function place down there, uh, whether it's just a small place to shelter from the sun or a larger place you could rent out, I have no idea. Can things like recreational revolving funds pay for capitals? They don't have money, like that? that's the problem. Um, but could they build it into the no. fees? No, let me think about that. I know we looked into it in the past and they're not allowed to pay for capital. They, oh. they could pay for operation of something. Not capital. The rec fund I think is allowed to, is going to carry 25000 at the end of the year? It's only 10000 oh, 10, it, it, it gets cleaned out up. every year. It doesn't even just carry over, yeah, yeah, let alone. Yeah. Carrying over capital money here to yeah. 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 It'd be a lot to charge up in fees to have enough in there to do it. No. Because in reality, a lot of parents would probably be, yeah. sure, do it. Yeah. So can I ask that a, a different way? Is there a mechanism to create a fund for the fund capital? Um, if you mean within the general fund, sure. You could do a state capital stabilization fund. If you mean for people to donate to, there's probably a wider range of options for that. Um, for many of those things I listed, I would anticipate community interest, you know, and involvement financially. Almost all of them, probably not all of them. Okay. So it wouldn't be a revolving fund; it'd be another mechanism to create a capital accumulation yeah, fund or something. Yeah, you know, Sharon sees different donations frequently, actually, almost every year from some of the different leagues and groups. Um, so this would just be on a larger scale, I guess. I'd say. Almost like the Reading Educational Fund. But yeah. Recreation. Yeah. The Rec Revolving Fund is very different on the state law. It has got very clear rules, mm -hmm. and it is only allowed to carry a balance to finish the summer before new revenues might come in, for instance. Wow. Um, and and you know, what it turns back in the end of a fiscal year in round numbers pays our recreation wages in the general fund and it pays all the expenses directly anyways or anyway how. So that doesn't have a lot of flexibility under state law. Do you think of it? I'm sorry. No. If there's any other questions on uh, capital capital or debt, we have no debt plan for at least a year. Yeah. <laughs> now, on page 104, um, I think it's very helpful, as you said, to kind of highlight that list of projects that um, are up there for transparency. A couple other things about it. One is that even though they're listed in a certain way, that's not indicating any set of priorities at this point. No. They're just kind of listed. It's listed in the order they would be in the capital plan. Not that anyone would know that. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. <laughs> that, that is the list. Got it. Um, the other part that I think is important is that kind of your, your not footnotes, but description notes just to the right of that, that per income policy, the notion of 5% debt and capital, there's room to do some things and it accumulates up to that 9.8 million you know, by 2028. Um, but certainly if, if we were looking at all the things on that list, that would far exceed $9 million. Correct. Yep. Yeah, certainly the last three building projects would all be well above that by themselves. Some of the rest you could tuck in there, but not all of the rest. Yeah, but yeah. 9.8 million isn't, isn't chicken feed, fortunately. And I think one of the points is some of the other items have more urgency than when the nine million is available, I would say. Which you know, ones? Uh, turf, fields, uh, depends on how much more life Joe can get out of them. Um, the track and the field no house. 
he does his magic. Sure. Yeah, whereas, you know, the lighting work on the complex, you know, I'll describe those as optional. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I'll describe building security the same way. But the others, if they're not done, then fields will be taken out of use, taken out of service, so they won't be safe. What's the estimated lifespan left on this? Negative. Negative. Yeah. We're at the end of the, it's like 10, 10 to 12 years. And what year are they in now? So we did this, they were put in in 05, so they're 13. Okay. 13 years old. So it's time. Yeah. Thank you. And so what happens with the turf fields? I know what we do in between and put the you know rubber in there and stuff. Right. Is it the underlaying structure that gets? Yeah, so on on turf one and turf two, the 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 top course, which is the fake the turf itself, yeah. gets is it gets worn down. If you look at like we had some patching done in October, I believe it was, mm -hmm. and you can tell when they did the patch, it almost looks like it's mm -hmm. like this. It's like you didn't roll there. It, exactly. <laughs> and then with well, the rest of it is just you can see the infill, which is the pellets that are in, yes. in the in the turf. Yeah. So what we did was we had it rejuvenated, I'll call it. We had it cleaned and rejuvenated, and they raked <laughs> new infill in there. Like and, a grow. Yeah. <laughs> it, it actually it actually makes a huge difference in the play too for the kids. To be honest with you, yeah, as well as the um, there's two different the G Max rating, and there's another one that they use um, for, for it's a drop test, basically, um, to measure how how well the turf performs. And after doing that, the numbers went back down again, which was which was good. Mm -hmm. So we're planning on doing this type of stuff on a more religious basis, stepping it up over the next 18. So it ends up being the turf you you replace not they would they replace not the, the layers below yeah no they replace the turf they do. the drainage around those fields looks to be in pretty good condition on, on the stadium itself the big the, the, the stadium um, itself um, if we were to do turf two over there is talk about potentially extending that a little bit possibly and making that usable for different sports that are not able to be played on that but when they do it, they'll take the whole thing out again. They'll, they'll take the turf off of it, the infill has to come out, and they put all new infill in there. And um, it's a different product that they use now. Longer life? It's 10 to 12 years on most of them. Mm -hmm. We've actually got a lot out of that, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Given the amount of use. The amount of use. Oh, it's a high know. demand the use. use is high incredible. demand every day. Yeah, I know. It's Patriots incredible. Only, Patriots only got two weeks out of one of their tours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we just need Brady to not like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. We tried to buy it, but they were tearing it up literally and throwing it away. Oh. <laughs> How much will we know about the building security portion? Um, Last time we had talked about this, you had said it. You so. mean how, how much will you know or we know? <laughs> That's the difference. We know a great deal. Okay. Um, we have a very thick report. It's about like yay thick. It prioritized, um, I think it was yeah, two and a half million of basic important things and a million and a half less important, I guess I'll say. Mm -hmm. um, the two and a half million is divisible. It's not all or none. Um, but it's not easily divisible because if you start doing one school and not all the schools, you have an issue or one any one building. Really. So we had thought to um, start next year with a small part of it and had a discussion at length and said we can't just pick like one building. So instead mm -hmm. what we're doing is we moved up the renovations of the dispatch center um, because that was you know, se separate but similar in terms of its need for um, the ultimate security. Uh, they need to have technology that would then, you know, monitor building security if that's the direction we go. Um, so that that's best done in larger amounts, I guess, is the answer for the reason of not causing people to worry that their school's not on the list. And to your point regarding any staff that may need to be hired in order to maintain this project um, is that being considered for 
future budgets because now that becomes an option. I guess I, I'd say that there's some basic level of capital that doesn't need staff, but when you start getting into things like video yeah. and cameras, that's where you start getting into public safety it. staff. Sure. Okay. And so that'll just be worked into. That was sort of lower on the priority list. So if we ever get to that point, that would have to become part of the discussion. Thank you. Yep. Not sure who this question is for, but it's probably John, Gale, Chuck, Bob, Sharon. <laughs> no, just I'm making a group. Making a group. Um, I was um, at a meeting um, You're sitting right earlier. Here. There was a discussion of kind of what is the process for discussion about Killam in terms of anything that might happen. And I was hoping you guys just clarify kind of, you know, is it, someone said it's already in front of the building committee. And that's not something that I had heard before, right? So I assumed the process was that there'd be discussion, and then at some point the school committee would decide that they want to bring something forward to the building committee? It is not in front of the building committee at this point. Okay. That's what I thought. So the school committee action, that would be the next uh, activity before we go to the school building committee? The committee would need to have a conversation first. Yep. Then would go right now the building committee is doing an assessment of all the buildings yeah. everything in town it all yeah. yeah okay great so it's possible one. that's what you heard because they've yeah. been yeah. what rules being discussed yeah yeah that could be it so at some point they'll be ready to talk about killing but not right now and the school committee at that point would need to have a conversation about it so right or anything can be done beyond that you know the building committee and the school committee we need to have a conversation and then on whether or not there's a feasibility study done at the beginning to do a full assessment of what the needs are and then you got to take a look at the educational needs and then it, you got to look at it as a bigger picture too because you know we do have space classroom space needs at the elementary level across the district so does Kim will become part of a bigger solution that involves the other elementary schools those are all things that need to be discussed and MSBA isn't until later yeah. in the process. You actually could not submit anything to MSBA unless you have town meeting approval and funding available within 18 months. You can't even apply for hmm. their reimbursement until you are over those two hurdles. So we're applying for accelerated repair for a boiler because we have funding, we have approval. We cannot proceed at all with MSBA at this point. On they kill. On kill. Right. They actually would not allow. Before we did any, any had those discussions with kill, we probably need to look at enrollment studies of some right. sort. Uh, Which would have to be built into a budget. Right. Right. Which is not in the 19 budget. Yeah. Um, right, although there is money in the building committee to do certain things. A certain sure. amount of money that, that's available, not designated, right? Correct. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. Because it, 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 uh, it came up and, and you know the guns were blazing. I just wanted to have some info. Thank you. Not to put the school committee um, on the stage, but uh, is there a timeline for when the school committee plans to consider, plans to start that discussion? I think uh, we need to get through this budget process and. And, you know, see what happens and figure out you know, how and how and when we leave that discussion in. The, the issue with Killam is not a structural issue. Killam is structurally sound building. The the issue with Killam is more there are some systems that need to be upgraded. There's ADA that needs to be upgraded. Um, so that's watching upon ADA. Um, American Disabilities Act. Um, those things need to be upgraded. So the, the decision is going to need to be made it, from an educational standpoint and a space standpoint at some point. But you know, the, the one issue that, that has been a major concern has been mitigated, and that was the lead. Thank you. Just a quick one where you're going there. I realize I walked in late. I might be heading in the wrong direction there. But you said the, the lead has been mitigated. There was talk, and I know some of this is complete rumor, so now I'm curious. Was there or is there an asbestos problem? 
go. <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, and, 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 and I wasn't sure because it's one of those things you hear. Once somebody yeah. says something, those things no. spread unfortunately much much faster than the, the truth no. does when we're. We did have so a couple of that questions. One's out there. Part of it is in the MSB reports they have a great way of having keywords yeah. in there, yep. and that spurs some questions. And I'll defer right. to Joe, but we have met with a couple of folks that had questions and walked them through. Okay. Just thinking what that would be down the road. If Every you know, year, issue, we send out a notice, which yep. no one pays attention to. <laughs> yep. It says there is a report available at the schools and the facilities office that outlines where asbestos is in every building. Got it. Some yeah. buildings have no asbestos, the newer buildings, some still do, but they're, it's contained. Yeah, I can assure you that if if there wasn't, I'm not speaking for the committee, but I can tell you if there was an asbestos problem, then that discussion would be elevated to the right. top of it. Yep. Sure. <laughs> Good old Facebook. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, if we could get the facts to circulate that quickly, would be. What fun would that be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else on longer-term projects or capital? Eric, you still there? I'm still here. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's why I was like, I got sent out to the city. Eric, don't worry, I'm far away from that. <laughs> um, do you want to uh, go right into the budget, or do you want to uh, take a snow and ice detour? Oh. <laughs> no. No. Um, I'm just asking your permission to uh, deficit spend snow and ice just in case uh, right now there's a hundred and twenty five thousand dollar surplus and a reasonably good winter there's been a couple of tough storms um, you don't meet until March 7th so I'm a little concerned that I really should ask your permission it's it's not a hundred percent required by law but it's good practice this is the one area and the only one area we are allowed to deficit spend so every year we always ask FinCom for it. Most years we need it, some years we don't. I don't know about this year. Um, I will say on March 7th when you vote the Warren articles, I definitely do not think we'll have a final snow and ice number on March 7th. So this will be amended on town meeting floor almost for sure. So, so that will be the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I put a memo in your packet. Um, if someone would just make a motion to um, authorize debt spend, deficit spending on snow and ice, then I'd appreciate it. Meaning, meaning that would come out of free cash? Um, it would be reconciled at town meeting. If for some reason we didn't have the free cash to pay for it, we could throw it into the tax rate next year, which means some, you don't have to, you don't spend money on something else. That's the only item I think you can do that with. Okay. We've never done that. I don't think we would do that. We, have plenty of free cash. Yeah, we, we'll we anticipate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to dare the snow anymore. <laughs> and so, the, whatever amount is sitting in FinCom reserve is, is not relevant to this. Is that correct? Well, I could come to you and ask for it if if, if it's snowed after town meeting. Got it. You know, okay. Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would. But again, this is one area you can't deficit spend. Right. So I'll make a motion yeah. that to allow. Uninjured. I'll second. Deficit spend. And you have to do roll call votes. Sorry. <laughs> Any further <Four>. discussions? <laughs> okay. Uh, ready to vote then? Um, start down there. Well, oh, okay. Paul? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. 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 And Eric? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Nine zero. Scorecard now? Sure. Brendan put together a nice uh, 
ruling package here. It's all on page six, too. He's got the roll call vote part. Oh, because I oh, yes, we roll call vote. <laughs> this happened another year. I remember. I remember it was last year. So this goes through um, sequentially. Uh, benefits, capital debt, and so forth, all the way down to the enterprise funds. Um, I've listed the town manager's budget column, and the italics I've listed the same number for the FinCom budget. Obviously, you can do anything you want to any of the lines. And then we record the uh, vote for town meeting. Um, if you wish to spend more than what's here, you must use free cash. You don't have a right to create revenues. If you want to spend less, I would suggest you use less free cash. And you're using a million two of free cash in this budget, just as a reminder. <clears throat> and the state assessments in the sort of bottom of the page is not voted on by, by FinCom. That's just a net part of state aid. I'm sorry, where are you looking at there? Um, in the box, it says box. voted general fund. Oh, I see. And then I have to add state assessments in because it is an expense, but it's not a voted expense by your town meeting. Mm, I see. Um, so shall we uh, start off with the benefits? Um, I guess we need a motion. I'll make a motion unless people have any discussion items first. I'll start. Make a motion. Do we want, I want to do something? I think in the past have we gone around kind of line item by line yeah, item and each taken through. a turn? Should we do that again? Sure. We, yeah, we want to do that as we go through and we want to do it at the end as far as assigning uh, responsibility. Or actually, uh, in the past, you you read all of these, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did I read yeah. them all? Yeah. I think we went around the room. I think we went around the room. No, for the Warren articles, I think. No. Yeah, for the Warren articles. No, because I remember. Do it anyway, I thought you would do thanks. B9 and then right. a discussion. Yeah. I remember too, right? Maybe it's yeah. to make the motion. No, Matt, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah. She was chair. Whatever is easiest. Okay. A certain <laughs> smile on your face there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for now, um, we'll, um, we'll go with uh, B99, the benefits. Uh, we need a motion uh, in the amount of 17605850 We need somebody to motion and second. So that's what we rotated around. Okay. That's how we did it. Yeah. Right. All right. So you, okay. So, okay. This, this, I'm going to make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> For line item B99 in the amount of 17,605,850. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Um, discussion about the benefits line? There being none, we'll take a vote. And uh, I have to do it by roll call, so uh, yes. Paul? Yes. Yeah, um, we'll do it in this order, oh, okay. I guess. Well, no, we just do it in the table. Unless we got a group, so you have to actually probably call out name <laughs> so that they know where it is. Okay, Paul <laughs> Terry. Yes. Mark? Yes. Doctor. Yes. Uh, Ann Landry? Yes. Yes. David Nishan? Yes. Oh, I think you. Yeah. 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 Zero. Okay, move that we accept line C99 capital in the amount of $2,925,600. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. Take a vote. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Yes. Paul? Don't Mark. jump again. <laughs> yes. Mark. And Eric. We can move this along. Did we hear you, Eric? <laughs> Eric. Okay. I know. I move that we authorize 
line item D99 debt service in the amount of four million four hundred seventy one thousand one hundred fifty eight dollars. Okay. Second. And David. Second. Second. Okay. Uh, further discussion. If not, we'll uh, take another vote. And uh, I'll vote yes. Yes. You're Follow losing up. viewership. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yeah. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I move line E99 education in the amount of 415000 Second. No. Okay. Any uh, discussion? And for those at home, that's education, vocational, just so the windows. All those people at home. Who wants to look until you got this? We just oh, cool. the so high school. That's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Was there uh, any, any further discussions? <laughs> if not, we'll take a vote, and I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, didn't begin that. Eric? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, move to authorize line F99 Finance Committee Reserves in the amount of 150000 Second. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's get ready. Okay. Any, any further <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to propose <laughs> some uh, further discussion on this one, and, and that is um, mm -hmm. there are a lot of uh, worthy things in the um, override um, proposed budget, and um, I'm concerned that should the override not carry, that we might have a, a need for additional funding, and uh, I don't know how much of that we could actually do on town meeting floor. Um, so I was actually going to um, make a suggestion that we increase it by 300000 for that purpose, and it would have to come from free cash, as, as you said, but um, you know, nothing identified to go along with it, but I um, just was wondering whether uh, that might help. Um, My concern is then it comes down to us making that decision when it should be a town meeting decision if we end up in a tough Us position. making, well, I, I'm not saying that we assign it to anything, just that the money be there. But ultimately, then, we're leaving it up to us to be the gatekeepers, So right? when, when would town meeting, on the floor of town meeting, we decide it? Yeah. Well, isn't there time between the vote? Yeah, not town much, but it's like a week or something. Yeah. A couple, couple weeks. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Not to get into oh, print for town meeting, but certainly to have actions. Can I just, I think that, that just respectfully, I think that uh, <coughs> takes away the true intent of what that fund is for emergency use, uh, not for uh, operating type. Yeah, that's true. I think it would be, you know, Avoid the boiler when or something like that. That's what you want to use that fund for. You wouldn't start using that to fund FTEs or. or well, I, I don't think I would want it to go to FTEs. I would want it for more of uh, some of the well, uh, curriculum or, or something like that. It, uh, that might need additional funding if, uh, if the override doesn't pass. My only fear, Peter, right, if we if we do that similar to the additional funding we gave in the past, it, but this one being, at least I see it a little bit different, if we free up or earmark or float the possibility that that money's out there, aren't we to some level acknowledging that eh, there really is a little more in there we can do before we need an override? My fear is that we're sending the message that, yeah, we need an override, but if you don't, there's still some more we could we could fall back on. Are we are we starting to cut into you know the message that these budgets really have been scrutinized? They've been you know, they really cut back. I just I don't know. I would right. There's a lot of worthy causes yeah. that would go to that number. So which one will we prioritize? But at a certain point, I don't want us to lose credibility that we said if the override didn't pass, you're not going to get X, Y, and Z. Oh, but wait, now there's one more chance. Uh, 
Um, I think Chuck's point is a strong one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, the law says unforeseen expenses, so if you're discussing them, that automatically excludes them because you know about it. If something happens that you couldn't have foreseen, that's that's really what it is for. There's other ways to accomplish what you want. I think on the floor of town meeting, which you may want to meet in advance for. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can make two points. One is I think, regardless of how the vote turns out, we do need to meet pretty quickly after that before a town meeting. Um, we either will have a new budget that we have to talk about. Right, regardless. Regardless. Right. Yeah. Or, or the meeting. Yeah. Of the reasons, fact, so I think we scheduled it. Right? I don't remember. To be honest. I think yeah, we need to be a placeholder. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember April? Uh, Second week? I thought we said a week and a day after. I don't remember, honestly. Maybe, Maybe you did it at the library finished. when you were meeting. Them. I don't have anything on the calendar for April. Okay. I, mean, I, I show one for the 11th. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. But. I don't know. If I, I, should have the same, I have the same. I have the 11th in mind, too. The 11th? 11th. 11th. Yeah. What is it? The 11th. So I think we probably should plan on that. But my, my second point is I actually think we may want to change this number um, for a different reason. And that is that um, as we're working with a $100 million budget, we have some items that are out of our control. 150, I don't think, is a big enough number anymore. I think it's something that we ought to think about. I, I, you know, some increase, maybe the number goes up to 250 max. I just hate to do like it that. this year, because now we're taking more from the free cash out, but the timing's right. Yeah, and I'm okay with that too. I just, I think we should start thinking about it and not just assume that that number should stay, because mm -hmm. we, I, I remember one occasion where we, we were down to the wire on the 150. Well, last year. Last year. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and Unforeseen circumstances don't limit themselves in magnitude necessarily, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's um, I mean, the thing about taking it out of free cash and putting it in there is if we don't spend it, then it just goes back into free cash anyway. So. Yeah, I just think we want to keep things yeah. simple, leading it to the. Yeah, and I think I, I don't want people to be confused by it. So I, I absolutely find by doing it now, but I think we should think about it probably for next year anyway. And in the event of something unforeseen, that's an emergency type situation that exceeds 150,000, would we be able to call a special town meeting? Is that what that's what would happen? Yeah. And how quickly can that how quickly can that happen? Um, I think an emergency might be seven days. It's pretty okay. fast. All right. All right. And then if you're close to the end of the year and it's just not practical, as long as there are surpluses in some budget lines. Um, and that's you did that last year. I wasn't here, and I know a couple of years it was done for the assessors, where we took money out of, I suppose, benefits, and gave the assessors a couple hundred thousand because your fund wasn't big enough. That's a meeting between. I think it's you and the selectmen sitting jointly. Okay. But that that's a last resort as opposed to going to a town meeting. I'd say. Okay. But you do have that option. <clears throat> okay. Well. Um, Yes, we will then take a vote. And, uh, I'll vote. Yes, Paula. Yes, Mark. Yes, Dan. Yes. David. Yes, Vanessa. Yes, Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. And Eric. Yes. Okay. Um, no, I believe you're up, Paul. All right. Uh, motion to approve line G91 administrative services and wages in the amount of $1,362,725. Okay. Second. Oh, second. Go on. Oh, no. yep, second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was too slow. Stealing my <laughs> uh, Further discussion? No. Okay. Uh, I'll vote yes. I'll vote yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. You ready? Ready. All right. Yeah. Motion to approve line G92 administrative service, services expenses $1,451,350. Okay. Right. I guess I'll second this one. Further discussion? Um, I'll vote yes. Paul? Yes. Yes. Mark? 
Yeah. Yes. David. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. And Eric. Yes. Okay. Uh, item eight: a um, motion to approve line H91 public services wages in the amount of one million three hundred sixty-five thousand seven hundred twenty-five dollars. Second. Further discussion. Vote, uh, yes. Paul? Oh, yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. Oh, I didn't give you one. Did you want one? <laughs> Eric? Motion to approve on H92. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, H92 public service, public services expenses in the amount of $355,700. Okay. Second. Okay. Oh, chaos is broken. Miracles <laughs> <laughs> giving you next time. <laughs> They're not going to start a band. Don't worry. <laughs> you plug that phone. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Any further discussion? Uh, okay, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Okay. Yes. Sorry. So, Eric? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'll make a motion for line item I-91 finance wages in the amount of $671,250. Second. Any further discussion? Being none, uh, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Move to accept line item I-92 finance expenses in the amount of $152,950. Second. Any further discussion? Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. I can mess up the flow if anybody says anything other than yes. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, I move to fund line item J91, public safety wages in the amount of $9,918,775. Second. Um, for the discussion. Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Ready? Move J92 public safety expenses in the amount of $487,700. Second. Okay, uh, further discussion? Uh, there being none, I'll take a vote. Uh, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. David? Yes. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Well, you're almost halfway done. Okay. Well, I'm going to pick up line I'm Public Works Wages. Uh, I'm going to have $2,613,350. Second. Uh, further discussion? Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. <laughs> and Eric? Yes. Get the office. Uh, move to approve line K92 public works expenses in the amount of $829,100. Second. Thank you. <laughs> uh, further discussion? Okay. Uh, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. Okay. Uh, item 16. 
Motion to approve item K93 Public Works Snow and Ice $650,000. Right. We'll give this one to you, Eric. It's a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, further discussion? Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Paul? Yes. Eric? Yes. And um, you want to get uh, 17, Eric? Motion approved line K94, Public Works, Street Lights, in the amount of 160000 I'll second that. Further discussion? Uh, I vote yes, Paula. Yes. Mark. Yes. Ann. Yes. David. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. Eric. Yes. Um, okay, I guess I'm up for uh, number 18. Motion to approve line K95 Public Works rubbish in the amount of a million six hundred forty-four thousand three hundred ninety-five. Second. Uh, further discussion? Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ben uh, Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. Uh, I'll make a motion to accept line L91, library wages in the amount of $1,248,550. Second. Further discussion? Okay. Um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. Move to accept line item L92, library expenses in the amount of $343,465. <coughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, second. Second. Say second. Second. <laughs> <laughs> we need a card. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You should do. Or chips or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, further discussion. Uh, okay. I'll vote. Yes. Paula. Yes. Mark. Yes. And. Yes. David. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. And Eric. Yes. Item 91, core facilities. Uh, I move to approve in the amount of $2,999,275. Second. Further discussion? Okay, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Yes. I know. M92 town buildings uh, moving uh, in the amount of $314,400. Second. <laughs> <laughs> Further discussion? Being none, uh, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. Eric? Move to accept line U99, school department, in the amount of 42723025 Second. Any further discussion? Um, okay, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Ann? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Move to approve W99 Water Enterprise Fund in the amount of six million three hundred and forty-five thousand nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Second. Further discussion. Okay. Uh, yes. Paula. Yes. Mark. Yes. Ann. Yes. David. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. Eric. Yes. Um, ready? 
motion to approve line X99 Sewer Enterprise Fund in the amount of six million four hundred ninety-one thousand six hundred and fifty dollars. Second. Oh, okay, you got it. <laughs> Um, Probably figured out the system. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we changed it. <laughs> but Eric was a recording. <laughs> um, he is doing well. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> any further discussion related to this item? <laughs> um, okay, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Okay. Move to approve line Y99 Stormwater Enterprise Fund in the amount of 622225 And I'll second that one. And uh, further discussion? There uh, being none, um, I'll vote yes. Paula? Yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? Yes. Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well done. Hey. <laughs> Any other uh, items before we go to the minutes? Uh, just a reminder, March 7th is your next meeting, and then we'll talk about the April meeting. April 11th, as you say. Um, Bob, did you say March 7th? Yes. And uh, in advance of that, the week before, we'll send you the warrant articles that have financial um, impacts. There's half a dozen. None of them are significant. Bob, so, uh, I realize it's a, that's almost a month out, but what is our agenda for that meeting generally? Um, purely to vote on the financial warrant articles. Other things if you wish, but that's the key. Um, if you do it on the 7th, um, we can get it in print for town meeting and get it available a little earlier than usual. Thank you. Yep. What was the date of the April meeting, the 11th? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to be here. For March 7th here, yeah. uh, April, I think it depends. Yeah. <laughs> we might have a busy room if it's it might make sense a certain result. Anyway, yeah. uh, we can figure I out I took that. a look at the, oh, sorry, I'm not, are we on calendar? Are we in discussions? Or, uh, I took a look at the calendar that's posted regarding the whole budget process on the website, and I noticed there's no financial forums between now and April 3rd. Right. Um, the selectmen that I'm having on, or? I know we've, oh, there. Not a financial no, forum, but I don't, I don't know, honestly, whether there's some kind of a community meeting, I don't know. Would we, I mean, we had several leading up to it last year. It might be a good opportunity. I, mean, I feel like we caught a lot of people at the beginning of the budget process, but let's face it, there was a lot of meetings. Yeah. This might be a good opportunity to give a nice recap leading up to the election. Keeping them shorter, okay. that, you know, our, our the meetings we did before the last override, as I recall, were well in advance. It wasn't like a couple weeks before. It was a few months before, several months before. I think we started in right. June. It was basically before the receiving. June, July, uh, August, and then and the ballot was October, I think. There was a September special right. Nothing town was meeting. even on the ballot. It was just special. Right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll certainly ask the board. There's no plans that I'm aware of. Someone else in an email asked them today also. Yeah. I think it's a Do really good idea. Do we as FinCom want to host one? Um, so that's, that's question one. And then question two, I know we talked about having a one-page summary of the budget and override discussion available on the website um, for people that have questions because I, I think it's unrealistic to expect your average resident yeah. to go through this, which I think. Um, to let them know at the high level what's happening. Is that forthcoming? Yeah, we are waiting till you voted a budget, just out of politeness. <laughs> um, <laughs> so a, a, a website has kind of been built. Okay. Um, now we know what to populate it. There's maybe half a dozen documents that didn't matter what you did tonight, and mm -hmm. it's really based on the 4.15 million, and now we'll have the ability to do a little more. So in the next week, it'll be up there. Thank you. I like the idea of having all the words together um, in some format. 
more kind of quick discussion, question and answer, maybe even allowing people to um, email in questions in advance. Mm. And in that way, kind of see where people still have questions and be able to answer them you know, sooner rather than later. And, and here we couldn't do it. Much Although, in sooner. some ways, I'm thinking more people are going to be engaged later. Yeah, I'm going to be well. I think later, there is I no sooner. Sooner is done. Right. right. <laughs> we're, I'm, we're later I'm wondering if the most power is like a week before. I agree. Yeah. 100%. Right. That was exactly my suggestion. A month before, because people aren't. Get, I mean, it'll. It's a cram session before, bef mm -hmm. so people can get whatever knowledge they want before they go and vote. The devil's advocate, if if bad information starts filtering through and becoming the gospel, maybe you, you want to hit it before the week before. Mm -hmm. But then. Bad information, I think it's a word, bad information start afterwards and then they go into. Right, you can mix that day. information in the button. This we can read yeah. that. Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, March 28th would be um, before the election. Yeah. I realize I might be asking a lot of all of the elected appointed boards, but what if we had two? No, we'll to be know. honest, I yeah, don't know if we'd get enough interest for two, but yeah. to be honest. That's, what, that's the like issue. You've got to get it down to market. minimal for folks. Like they, they, they can only dedicate one night to this. Well, Honestly, I, 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 I don't really mean think staggered. one night. I mean, no, covering the same hard. information, both sessions, for people that can't attend. Or for us to tackle questions that might be coming up or circulating. Just an idea. To lead toward one. I'll, I'll ask John to ask the school committee and I'll ask the selectmen to see what their availability is. I like the idea of a week in it, yeah, the 20th. Okay. Because the, there, there will be bad information out there, so it would give us an opportunity to provide Fact accurate check. information close to the actual election. The other thing is, do we want to post for the RMLD meeting? Uh, oh, good point. It's February 22nd, because I thought I got Sorry, it. Sorry, that's posted. We are yep. posted. Oh, Sorry. we are already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you need to talk about that here, since you did the other night? Um, did everybody watch the. Like, probably not. Um, a board of selectmen meeting on Tuesday. Um, I can't believe you didn't watch the board of selectmen. Sorry. Okay, I'm a board of selectmen. I can watch it. At the board of meeting on... You didn't read your article. Uh, uh, the board of selectmen had a discussion regarding RMLD payments, mm -hmm. as well as uh, mm, making inquiries into the potential sale of RMLD. Um, uh, apparently there's been um, tough communication, or maybe not enough communication, between the RMLD board and the board of selectmen. So uh, it was agreed that the board of selectmen and FAMECOM would post for the next RMLD meeting, which is February 22nd, um, to discuss uh, changing the agreement that RMLD has with the town uh, in regards to the payments that we receive. and. Board of Selectmen may at their next meeting or somewhere else down the line, um, may, actually it would be their be next, the next meeting, meeting right? Yeah, um, to discuss putting an instructional motion on the warrant to um, look into and determine a process and timeline for the sale of RMLD. That was on last year's town meeting. If it was an instructional motion, this would be an actual article. Oh my God. Not, not to sell them, to make that clear. Yeah, it's a discussion. Uh, the discussion was to instruct town council to begin reviewing the, what do we need to know? What's the process? What are the options? What are all the facts? Mm -hmm. um, you know, no idea if this would make any sense at all from many perspectives. But we need to educate ourselves in order to figure that out. I would encourage everyone. Sorry. Has anyone figured out the, the cost to do that study? No. 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 Well, but I'm saying if you're going to prove an article, it wouldn't be much. Yeah, no, but I'm saying if you're promoting an article, you have to say, hey, not only is it, yeah. do we have to do this work, but it's going to cost half a million dollars. I don't know. I'm um, just saying, because with, the, with the way town finances are, and do with an override, I just feel like that's got to be part of the discussion. Every dollar hmm. matters. Like I know people are, are want you know there's a there's a contingent of folks in town who think the sales are a good idea, and that's great. Yeah. And and you know I don't, I don't necessarily have an opinion at this point, but I do have an opinion that any money spent on it should be scrutinized. 
Right. And I also think we, we wouldn't want to just get kind of a, a cheap advisory opinion. We want to get something more informed. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this came up rather suddenly, but I think um, the selectman's intention isn't at all to start walking down the path where you spend real money, but just to say, describe the path to me. Right. You know, what are the laws that apply? What are the options that apply? What Has anyone else done anything like this? So from what I heard, it would all be town council work, and I don't think it's a significant cost. Okay. And when I say that, I mean it's not millions of dollars to hire an investment bank to value the thing and so on and so forth. Right. That would be serious money. Bob, I, I heard things a little bit differently. I heard three selectmen who seemed more than willing to walk down the path of selling it. Um, I but don't they didn't say that for the article. Correct. Um, but the intent is certainly there. I would encourage everyone to watch the uh, the Board of Selectmen yeah, meeting I, I from Tuesday. It starts at about the two hour mark. Um, the discussion short only lasts about maybe 15 or 20 minutes, um, but it'll give you information walking into that meeting on the 22nd. Can we get copies of the agreements that are in place between the town and RMLD so that we, we know what we're discussing? I would sure so. like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble is some of them are done by typewriter, not yeah. electronic. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I think that would just help the discussion. I and, and I don't know what discussion is intended on this meeting on the 22nd. It's, it's an RMLT board meeting. They'll do whatever right. they want. Right. So whether they hear you in public comment or some other way, I don't know. Yep. Do you know, is it 7 or 7.30? Did I tell you 7.30? I think so. I think so. But I, again, I don't know if they've got to create an agenda seven. item and a time for you. Uh, 7. But what is it? Like the at at seven that's right. I might have just guessed it. I, I have the same thing. I'll double check. It is already posted the on the website, so you can get the time and location. Thank you. So, um, Bob, what you and, or I guess what Sharon had given us, not in this packet, but the previous packet, that showed the three kinds of um, payments that RMLD makes to the town is really good background, also, just to understand where those came from. Sharon told us about the the cost, the town cost one, so that she she puts that one together. But the other two, the pilot, and then the, uh, I don't know what the third payment's called. Payment to the town, we'll call it. Um, one's overhead. Um, yeah. Part of my salary, so on. Right. So yeah, that's the one Sharon talked about. That's kind of the oh, middle. One's, I call it owner's dividend. It has a different dividend. legal name. Yeah, so there's pilot on one hand, right. or payment in lieu of taxes, and I don't know how that's established or how it changes. And then the third one is, dividend or whatever the right term is for it that I believe is adjusted by the CPI. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I did actually do the calculation. Um, I don't remember what we estimated, but it's a little higher. It's 2.51% for next year, the year ending December. It's the first time it's been above 2% in quite a while. Um, I have them posted at 7.30 on the 22nd on the calendar. Let me just see what, uh, what the agenda item says. One of the selectmen advocated for a 5% return. A couple of them did actually. I thought it, Dan actually said 10. No, he said at, 5. At the he meeting on Tuesday, okay. they said 5. If something has been said previously, I don't know. I, I, I would say go at 7.30 unless I tell you otherwise based on the agenda that they posted. The public comment is early, mm -hmm. and this has the Citizen Advisory Board liaisons to the RMLD Board and public comment. So that would seem to be it. Oh, hang on, it was no, too late. There was a subcommittee report that just followed that, so it might be a little later on the payment to the town. So these are the ones he already emailed out. So I'm comfortable making a motion to accept the minutes for February 8th, 2018. So moved. Any discussion? Anybody? Anybody 
comments. Eric, you still got credit. I know, Eric, you got it. So it was nice and didn't yeah, we're name you by name. Yeah, you, uh, uh, nice. Thank you. I was unceremoniously cut off. I don't know how long I was going to work hard. Exit the meeting, Matt. I have a suggestion on how to do that in the Seven. section where it's yeah, yeah, yeah. unfortunately yeah. disconnected. Yeah. I think we should have by Mark Mall. Yeah, I think. No one's like that. Sorry, what did Sorry, you say, Eric? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe Eric just disconnected himself. <laughs> and this has people we'll call too. <laughs> so no further discussion. Okay. Um, yes, Paula. Yes. Mark. Yes. Anne. Yes. David. Yes. Vanessa. Yes. Paul. Yes. Mark. Yes. And Eric. You're still yeah. there. Okay. Only one more vote. Motion to adjourn. Second. Because he's not here. Any further discussion? <laughs> um, all those in favor? No. no. I'll vote no. yes. No. Paula? <laughs> yes. Mark? Yes. Anne? Yes. David? Yes. Vanessa? Yes. Paul? No. <laughs> Mark? Yes. And Eric? Yes, and I apologize for the inconvenience tonight. <laughs> oh, you know, it's your faces to make you feel better. <laughs> All those in favor of accepting the apology. <laughs> yes, Bernie, Bernie. No, no. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So now you can walk over and read a little bit. Just try it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know. Mark's going to get a few hours. I know. Do we have to go over? No, you're already in Oh, that was it. That was it. That was it. Oh, you're done. Yeah. What are you confused about? I'm confused. I just paid attention there. Eric, thanks. I have to read this. Oh, what is that? It's instructions on how to use the phone. Just kidding. That's really <laughs> funny. Technology to the last one. Good night, Eric. Does anyone want that laminated and put by the phone? I don't know, but we're really good. It's great. Did you do that? Did you do that? No. No, you guys go to the Listen, this was. He said, how did the phones work last night? I said, well, except for someone kicking the cord. It was fun.